right page is completed now, so next one that we will work on is course page. In this step, we're gonna create our course page. Currently, we only have our navigation links, and we now need to create this course HTML page. So let's go back in our text editor and let's create new blank document. If we take a look on our home page, we have our header, footer, and middle part, and the same thing for our about page. Middle part is only difference. So we can copy complete content from about page and let's paste it inside of our newly created document. Okay, let's save this document for now. And let's call it course.html. So basically, now we have our course page, we just need to make some changes. At first, let's change title. This is gonna be course title. And as we said, our header and our footer will be the same and we just need to change our middle part. So let's delete our middle part for now. Also, we'll use another body like CSS body. And I already prepared inside of our styles folder from course file. This is body that we'll use. So I will copy it. And I will paste it instead of our current body. Let's align our code a little bit. So basically this body will be applied on our complete body. We have robot to thin text. Also we have new background that is background course. So if we take a look inside of our images folder in our website, we currently don't have our background course background. So from this images folder, I will copy background course. For now, we have set inside of our file background that we are using. Okay, so we just need to paste it here. And now we have our background for our course page. This is position for our background and these are height and width. Okay, so let's save our changes for now. If we refresh our web page, we can go on our course page now. And here it is. If you take a look on background here, about and home page have different background in comparing to our course page. So next step that we'll do, let's create our heading for our course page. So at first for our middle section, let's create one simple div. And let's define heading h1 element. Like content let's set, this is content of the course. So let's save our changes. Let's go back in the web browser. So when you refresh our page, we have our heading, but currently font is black and let's change this. We want to use class HTML attribute and we want to apply from our styles file, great text class. Let's paste it here. So basically now our heading will be in gray color. So let's save our changes. Let's refresh our page and here it is. Next step, from our about page, we can see that the title or heading is centralized. So let's do the same for our course page. We just need to add one more CSS class. From styles file, let's use TAC or text align center. So let's paste it here. So now when we save our changes and refresh our page, and yep, yeah, this is our centralized and gray text for our heading. Next step, 
let's create content of the course. As I said at the start of this lesson, I already prepared some texts. So basically one of those is this text. So I will use DT elements and DD elements that are basically components of description list. So first I need to create one simple description list with DL start and end tags. So now we can copy complete content from this file and let's paste it here. Okay, let's align our code a little bit. Okay, I missed first one. So basically, we have DT elements that represent title of list element, and also we have DD elements that represent description that is related with that title. We can remove from here. And now we have our description list, so let's save our current changes and see what we have done for now. If we refresh our page, now we have our description list. And let's start with the changes. At first, let's change appearance of our title and description. How we can do that? Well, in styles folder, I already prepared some styles for our course. I prepared our DT and DD classes that we'll use, so I will copy it. And inside of our style block, below our body, let's paste our content. Let's align our code a little bit. Okay, so basically, DT means that every DT element will have this class. So our text will be bold, color text will be yellow, and font size will be 20 pixels. And DD means that every DD element in this list will have bold text and text will be gray. So let's save our changes and let's go back in our web browser. When we refresh our page and here it is. We have our title elements that are in yellow color and description of elements in gray color. But let's now create two columns more instead of one column that we have for now. So basically we'll have three columns. So how we can do that? At first let's copy this course list class. We'll use this one a little bit later, but let's copy it. We can close this document and below our DD class let's paste our content. Let's align our class a little bit. So for now, we have one description list element. Inside of this description list element, we have complete content of our course. If we take a look on our DL element, we can see I already separate three sections. So I want to create three separate description lists from those. Okay, this is gonna be first one. So this is going to be a second and this is going to be third description list. So after lesson eight, let's close our description list here. Now let's create a new one with start DL. After lesson 16, let's close that DL. And let's open one more here. This one already have DL and tag. So now we have three description lists. So let's save our changes. When you refresh our page, yes, we have three description lists, but still in one column. So why is that? Well, basically DL or description list is block element. So every DL will start in new line and will take complete line. 
So how we can fix this? At first, let's surround our DL elements with one div. Let's close our div here. Let's align our code a little bit. So for start div tag, let's define class HTML attribute. And from styles file, let's use display if or inline flex. Basically, with this class, we will display even block elements like inline elements. So let's save our changes and take a look. Currently, is in one column. When we refresh our page, we have all DL elements displayed like inline elements. Okay, we definitely need to polish a little bit our DL elements, so let's do that next. For our DL elements, let's use our course list class. So for first one, for the second one, and third one, we need to use our course list class. Let's paste our class here. Now we can copy complete class from here. And let's paste it for our second DL element and for third one. So what we have done here? Basically, we set that minimum width will be 300 pixels. Then our padding will be 20 pixels. And margin left will be 100 pixels. So let's save our changes and I will show you this in web browser. Let's refresh our page. And here it is. Looks pretty definitely, right? Okay, if we click on the right click and select the inspect, we can see structure of our HTML document. If we click on DL star tag, we can see our course list. So if we uncheck our property, we can see this is min width without and with min width. Property, this is our padding, okay? And also, this is without margin left and with margin left. Okay. So basically, this is our course page and our course page is done.